fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Sunday the 8th of January 2022. No, 23. <laughs> I did it. I knew I was going to have to do it at least one time. I'm sure when it comes to form filling as well, I'm going to make that mistake. I'm still going to make that mistake until about February. <laughs> I think it always takes me a month in before I eventually lose the previous year. I just can't help it. Um... What's going on? This is the Observer uh, Sudoku. Now, I can't tell you their stated level. Um, I'll give you a brief rundown of the uh, rules of Sudoku before we begin, uh, just in case it turns out to be an easy level game and we've got some beginners with us uh, trying Sudoku for the first time. We'll do that in a second. I see in the Observer they have a report of uh, how the government is trying to yet further undermine uh, unions and you know blocking the power to strike uh, for various people uh, really they will do anything they can since Thatcher uh, before Thatcher of course but Thatcher was the main aggressor against uh, people union uh, against uh, trade unions and she did much to destroy the trade union movement in Britain she did her damned did her damnedest to uh, get rid of every trade union as possible and she succeeded uh, in a long way in removing the union's power and the moaning and grumbling British public kind of went along with it in many ways because they don't like to be inconvenienced uh, forgetting that actually uh, workers uh, gained much benefit and uh, without unions uh, almost no benefits we'd go back to Dickensian Britain wouldn't we with you know virtual uh, poverty um, wages and stuff like that given for servitude let's say anyway so uh, we wish the conservatives the worst of luck let's put it like that in their agenda and also uh, keep an eye out for the right wing press the Murdochs the Beaver Brooks and the Dakers who will support their every move of course All right so how do we play the game of Sudoku as I said Observer Sudoku doesn't mention how to uh, what level it is we have um, squares across uh, nine squares across in each row and what we do is we fit numbers one to nine in each of these rows you can see one seven and nine are already filled in so those numbers we don't need to find we need to find all the others though two three four five six and eight same thing with these columns yep numbers one to nine there are nine squares but that's not all because there is one more thing we have to do, and that is fill in numbers one to nine in each of these small nine blocks. Okay, and again, numbers cannot repeat. So that's it. That's all you need to know about Sudoku. How do we go about finding the numbers? We do something like this. We say, hey, we've got two in this row already, so it can't reappear in this row. We have a two blocking up this column already, and we have a two blocking down this column here. And so in this block here, this center square here is the only one not affected by any twos uh, above below or in this case to the left of so we know that it must be a two and we can place that two immediately we don't need to be concerned that it might be something else in disguise uh, over in this block here we don't yet have an eight but we can see the eights blocking across these two rows and again leaving just the single square there so we know that an eight must fit into that square there. Got the idea now? Okay, good. Now we can also see nine and four in this row blocking across here. So that means that these two squares have to be nine and four. I don't know if that means anything, but I generally tell you what I see as I see it uh, while playing these games. If you're new to the channel, I play the games live. I don't practice or rehearse or anything like that before. I just turn on the camera and talk nonsense for a little while. Right, so nine and four are in these squares here. Got it? Uh, does that mean anything to us? Well, it means that nines are going to be in these squares over here because we're going to be blocking back and blocking here like this. Um, but that's not particularly useful just yet. And four are already here. And up and down here doesn't mean anything. But anyway, at least we also now know what these squares must contain. They must contain five and seven. Does that help us in any way? Well, if it's a five, um, no, not really. Fives are possible in those squares still, so that doesn't really help. And if it's seven, 
uh, no sevens are still possible like that so a waste of time you may say <laughs> and I might agree with you it might be a waste of time on the other hand though maybe we could get something across here because we know that five and seven are in those squares so now we have three numbers to complete this row we don't yet have one we don't yet have two and we don't yet have six does it mean anything one two and six no we've got one two and six blocking one of these squares each but that's no good so no not very useful anyway life goes on sudoku goes on ah wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute no don't wait let's carry on <laughs> i thought i'd seen something but had not in fact um, okay, let's do something else then. Let's continue with our easy numbers up here. Six blocking across and across here. You know, um, you just I just kind of uh, play the game. As I say, I turn on the camera and play the game. So uh, I don't know if I'm playing the game in the particularly the most effective order or not. They're sometimes easier numbers. But I just happen to be telling you what I'm looking at at the time. Right? You have to understand that. Um, there may be other other easier things that can be done. But I just tell you what I see as I see it. Right, one blocks up here and one blocks across here, right? So that puts one into one of these squares. So that blocks down here. We have a one blocking across here. And so we know that the one is here. Then that one blocks across there. That one blocks across there. That has to be a digit one in that square. Uh, now, I wonder if we can get these now. We might be able to. Uh, I've forgotten what I said goes in. This was five and seven. Do you remember I said... Uh, the 4 and the 9, excuse me, the 4 and the 9 block across here. This was 4 and 9, so this was 5 and 7. So then the remaining numbers here, yes, have to be 6 and 2. And we certainly can get them now because now we know that can't be a 6. So the 6 is there and the 2 is there. I hope that made sense. Uh, the logic was easy to follow there. Um, if not, because you're a newcomer, go back and, and just... Check it out, make sure you understand it. It's not too tricky, I promise you. Um, five, seven. Uh, as I say, I don't uh, play these games ahead of time, so it takes me a while sometimes to find the next number. And sometimes it takes a very long time to find the next number. But I shall try not to waste your time too much. So with that in mind, let's go through the numbers sequentially and see... Uh, what's possible. So I know that ones can go in those squares there. And over here I know ones can go in these squares down here. Over here there's a few places and up here there's a few places. So it can't really go much further uh, with that as it looks, as the pattern looks there. What's going on with the twos? Anything particularly useful? Um, well, we have twos there and there, but that's not particularly useful to us. Twos are possible like this and like that. So again, nothing great. Threes go like this. Um, no, far too many places where the threes can go. Fours are in these squares. Ah, here we are. Four blocking down here, four blocking down here. And the four goes there. Now we also can see four blocking across here, which means four is going to be in one of those two squares. Can't say which one yet, but that's going to put fours down here. Let's uh, just show you where the fours can go. And down here, well, we've got fours there, but unfortunately over here we still have quite a few places where the fours can go so 
Aha. Ah, oh, oh, okay. Right. Fives will be in these squares, but let's remember where fives go over here. There. Five and seven, wasn't it? Um, fives are in these squares. So fives will be down here. Um, up here, mind you, there's still far too many places, too many possibilities for us to be worried about it for the moment. So I don't see what else I can do there. So let's go and try the sixes. We definitely have six here. Okay, we have six across here, six down here. So here's our six and six. Nope, it's not going to be enough, is it? We're going to end up with sixes in these squares down here. Okay, sevens. Remember, we had seven there. Um, we've got sevens in those squares over here, like this and there. Um, okay, not that revealing. We have a pair of eights up here. And we have eights somewhere up there. Oh, a lot of places here. So again, not particularly useful for me. We have nines in those squares. Nines are here. Nines there. Nines up there. And that's about it. Now I'm going to go back and do check on ones because I did make one change. So I just want to make sure that I haven't got anything new that I can do uh, that's occurred since the, th that's the last thing that I put in. Ah, but OK, well, I have discovered something now. The two blocks across here, so two will be in one of those squares, right, blocking across like this. The five blocks across here, and so will be in these squares. So the two and the five block across these two rows. That means that the, these two squares here have to be two and five. Now, you could have just said two and five actually block these three squares here. And so there are only two squares left there. It doesn't matter how you found it. You still found it, right? It's the same thing. So we know that this is two and five. So over here, we are looking for uh, four, six, and nine. And we can certainly get the sixes because we have sixes blocking down. So we know the six is there. That's also going to give us a six uh, in, on this side because it's the final digit six. And there we go. Right, so now back again. So we are looking for 4 and 9. And we've got the 4 blocking down here. So here's the 4. And we've got the 9 to finish the row. And then we can say 9 blocking up here, 9 blocking down here. Here is our 9. But we already knew there was a 9 here, so we haven't got anything new there. But we have made progress, and that's what we need to do. Sl slowly, bit by bit, edge forwards. Um, three, five, seven. Right, uh, where do we go from here? I'm going to look over here again. Now, I just said earlier that this is 2 and 5. Let's see if we can get anything else. Uh, we have 4s blocking across here. So, in other words, that's going to put 4s into these squares up here. Do, do, OK, I hope you get the logic here. This is 2 and 5 only. All right, we see this 4 blocking this square. So 4, because this is 2 or 5, and this can't be 4. We know 4, or if you like, 4 is blocking across here. Let's just do it like that. So 4 has to be in one of these squares. We have a 4 blocking here. So that puts 4 in one of those two squares there. But when we extend the 4 in this direction, we can see, actually, we can get the 4. <laughs> we can place the 4 already. But all right, let's do that first. 4's block across here. OK, so then 4's block 
across this way here and that will be our four. Um, all right, let's just uh, take the easy way out. So we have one blocking up here that puts one into one of these squares blocking across one blocks across here and one goes up there. Here's a digit one. Okay, uh, now uh, for those, I hope, hope, hope this might not be for beginners, but um, should be okay, I think. Two blocks across here and two blocks up here, right? So two is in one of those two squares there. There might be easier things than this, but as I say, I don't necessarily tell you the easiest things. I just tell you what I see as I see it. So that means two blocks up here, across here, across here. That puts two into those squares there. We have eights blocking these two squares, so that means that eights are also here. So this is a pair of two and eight in these squares here. What does it mean? It means that when the three goes up here and blocks these squares, three is in one of those squares and therefore this can't be three and of course this can't be three here. So we can say now that our three fits there. And uh, what else? Two and eight. Um, and in fact, the three blocking this square means that we have to put a three into that square there. And this will be a five, remembering that this is two and eight to complete this row. OK, so now the five blocks down here. So here's the five and a seven finishes that block there. Seven blocks across here and goes up into that square there. Um, what are we looking for here? Three and five. So we've got the blocking five here. Here's the five. Here's the three. As I say, there may be easier ways. I'm not saying that there aren't. I'm just telling you what I see as I see it. We have threes blocking down here and down here and across here. So here is our three. Then that way, that way and down here is our three. And that's going to put the three up there. And the missing number down here will be eight. Uh, what are we left with here? One and seven. So the seven blocking down here. Here's the seven. Here's the one. Um, one across here and across here and down here. Here is our digit one. I don't. The trouble is that I don't know how to because I'm not necessarily playing this in the easiest way. I don't know how what to call today's game. What level? Because the, I usually try to give it a level. Um, but. I'm not really sure what level it is because I'm not playing it in the easiest possible way. But I, maybe I should give it a medium level just for safety's sake. I don't know. Uh, what's missing from here? This could be a nine, I guess. Um, where are we now? OK, so back down here. This was two and five, if you remember. Still can't resolve that yet. Um, but what's left in these squares? That's got to be four and something, nine. So we've got the four blocking down here. So here's the four, and this will be the nine. So nine across here, nine down here. Here is our nine. The last number to place here is a two. Two blocks this square from being a two now. So if you remember, this was two and eight. So two there, eight there. Eight's block up and across here so here's our eight and uh, this five blocks this square now we're going to need a five in this column so here's the five if you remember this was a two we had our five two in those squares this will be a two up here also three blocks across here so 
three goes there and seven is the last number there seven blocks across here here's our seven um, okay little bits to go now um, what's lacking from here four blocks up here four blocks across here here's a four the last number for this row um, looks to be a nine to me nine blocks up here here's the nine the last number to place here is a five five blocks down here here's the five and the last number here is a seven I guess oh I thought I'd finished the puzzle I've forgotten there's some down here to do okay five blocks down here here's the five and an eight finishes the game I thought I'd finished it I'm gonna call it a medium level uh, I don't really know if it was an easy game or uh, or, or, or up or down up or uh, you know a lower or higher than that um, but I'll just call it a medium for safety's sake that's it that's the first game of the day uh, I'll be back later with some other Sudoku, I guess. Bye-bye.